So uh, the next step is to join the two together. And here it is, after several dry runs to make sure everything was right on the nose. Glued up and clamped. And now it has to sit for about three or four days for the glue to completely cure before I put it under tension. Starting at the outside and working in. This is the treble side and this is the bass side. And what I'm doing first is to notch them with the saw. Once I've got them located, I will cut the actual support slot with a triangular file. Now once I've got these done, I will actually put it on the guitar and put strings on it. Set the action for these four strings and then work into the next two sets. But the actual fitting will be done on the guitar itself. Starting to set the action, I'm lowering the bridge saddle a little at a time and it's making its first sounds. And in the meantime, bring the action down as low as it can go without rattling. That's the ultimate goal. I'm looking at about 3.30 seconds of an inch on the bass side and about a sixteenth of an inch on the treble side. So I still have to bring it down a little further. But anyway, it speaketh. Now with the saddle cut down to height and all the strings located and the compensation dialed in, the final height is set right here by filing the groove a little at a time, bringing the, screen, bringing the string down until it's the proper height above the fretboard. One slow string at a time. Because once you've taken it off, you can't put it back on. With all of the beating they take during setup, uh, the first set of strings leads a rough life. Which is why I armed myself with two sets. One never knows. And you might get an idea of my brand of choice. Uh, these are the strings for the Yamaha 6. These are the strings for the Les Paul. And these are for my uh, little Goya antique classic, which you have never met yet, but which was actually the grandfather of this 12-string. Long story. Alrighty, they're all there. But now, the pressure test. <laughs> 